okay in the spiral model we have the object is uh, see the diagram first okay there are four um, parts in this first the requirements identification and resolving the risks then developing the versions then review and plan so here also we will be going to have requirement then uh, design development then reviews okay so uh, here uh, one thing is that uh, number of loops you'll be going to be able to see here okay. if the number of loops are going to be more and like that the cost is also going to increase number of loops okay then uh, we have uh, there is no restriction on the uh, loops here there is no restriction on the loops here so it depends upon the different programs the different types of loops are going to appear in this okay the first stage that is objectives determination and uh, identify the alternative solutions first the objectives are objectives are nothing but the requirements so those has to be get identified and any other solutions are there for this that you should be checked then uh, after identifying that particular uh, solutions uh, it can able to resolve that particular risks any risks are going to be for the solution any risks are going to be there those things you have to calculate and you have to resolve that particular risk by giving the best solution this possible strategy that you have to apply and you have to resolve this for a prototyping you can able to do it and you can give the solution for that then developing the next version of the product already existing is there the third quadrant that uh, development is going to come okay so already product you have all the phases okay three phases you have been uh, second phase you have been crossed you will be in the third phase okay third quadrant so the product is going to appear at that time also okay different versions are going to be there previous versions and you have to check for the previous version and modify the things and for the uh, modifying as well as testing is going to be done in that okay then in the last phase there is review and plan for the next phases this is the last there is a fourth quadrant it is going to be the evolution is being done means the versions have been created in that for the software and uh, new plan is being created for the next phases so here both plan as well as uh, agile methodology that it works in all the four phases okay any model that you can able to use it it is not necessary that only waterfall model or a spiral model or increment model any things that you can able, but everything is going to be depends on the applications which you will be going to use it the advantages and disadvantages of this spiral model is first thing is that um, risk handling is very easy because every time the data is going to be moved uh, for the every phases so the circle is going to be get repeated for the uh, first phase okay so that time the risk if it is going to be found in any way in between that those things are going to be eliminated this is uh, basically recommended for the big projects large projects okay then flexibility in requirements any time the requirements may come that is going to get added up in the uh, existing system finally the customer satisfaction is there for every stages so every stage the output is going to be given to the customer he is going to be get satisfied then only the phase is going to be moved to the next so development so that is a major advantage for the customer satisfaction disadvantage of this is uh, if the more complexity is going to be there in that as you are going to see that this is basically suggested for large projects so large projects are always going to have the complexities so the sdlc model is going to be followed for this then it is expensive because uh, cost is going to vary uh, because of the number of uh, times the uh, requirements if it comes okay so um, it is very difficult to implement it it is not suitable for uh, small projects first okay. even if you, if you want to make it so it is cost is going to be more dependability of uh, dependency of the previous version of that 
it is always it is going to be present in this okay and risk analysis of that is going to be the heavy one here so everything that it has to be get checked and if the previous model is going to be correct the next model is going to be or next phase is going to be correct if it is not then problems is going to be more so the failure chances are going to be more in case of the proper input or proper of previous phase is not going to be given so the complexities are going to increase and there is a chances for failure difficulty in time management because uh, the time will be given for the product de delivery if any increments are going to come in that it means to say that any incremental uh, development it comes or the small uh, request and all this in the time if we are going to do that particular program okay then again should pass for the four phases then time is going to be lost in that time management is the one of the major criteria where it may it may collapse okay the system can, may collapse or it is going to take more time to deliver it next is process activities what are these process activities it is so here uh, when you take the real time processes surface okay which are integrated with the technical collaborative and uh, managerial activities overall it is going to be taken by specification design development and testing development is nothing but implementation and testing of the product these four stages are going to be the activities of real time surface these things only we have to concentrate more specification development validation evolution this one i am saying since from the beginning also these are only the four phases where the activities of the process is going to be created for the development of the program so waterfall model also it is going to have the same thing the sequence of information are going to get flowed incremental model also it is same okay in the waterfall model we have step by step operations but in case of incremental model it is going to be interleaved so any requirement comes so immediately it is going to be taken and it, it is getting executed over there all the three phases are going to get repeated over there okay even it is going to happen in the uh, spiral model also okay how this uh, requirements engineering process is going to be get executed here we'll see that here you see that requirements illustration and analysis system descriptions goes to the requirements document requirements specification always it is changing okay then requirements validations if the specification changes always requirements validation also going to change then user and system requirements given to the user documentation now you see that now you see that requirements illustration analysis so here when you will going to do some activity the project okay requirements is one of the important concepts here so when those things are going to be get clear until unless that is clear you cannot able to go for the next stage so that's why here the requirements are going to be processed properly and you should be given for the as a requirement documentation as a srs that you should be given once if it is being given then the process starts that is a major advantage of this diagram so here only we going to give all the specifications okay requirements engineering process contains three points here requirements illustration and analysis so here the system stakeholders they requires or express for the system they will be going to require how this particular process is going to be done how the analysis is going to be done for the this requirements then a specification detailed specification requirements are going to be analyzed then validation of those things all these things we are going to do before implementation we are in the stage of just collection there is a requirements are going to get collected and that only we are going to 